racing with Austin and today I am going over air in your fuel. So if your boat gets on a plane and then after a little while it starts to sputter and bog down but it cranks up fine and it idles just fine then it's possible that you're going to have air in your fuel lines. Um, if you have air in your fuel lines this is a good video because I just had an issue with this the other day and I'm going to show everyone how I fixed it. Okay so first things first you know you got a fuel system you got your fuel cell, mine's in the middle right here. I can't get to it except for that and this. So we're just gonna start all the way from the front and work our way back. So I uh, I have a fuel vent right here. I took this off, made sure it wasn't clogged, and then I tightened that clamp down as hard as I could. Okay, so that this hose is good, it's eliminated. Um, I tightened the clamp. This this is my fill hose when i put gas in the boat this is where it goes and i went all the way up to here and made sure that was as tight as i could get it okay so that that portion is eliminated you get all the way back here you get to these now um actually let me grab something i'll show you what i did to double check that these were sealed Okay, so what you're going to need is some cobweb remover. Just kidding. I emptied this and I put soapy water in it. What soapy water does is if you spray it around a fitting, the soap will surround that fitting. And these fiberglass tanks, you can press on them. And when you press on them, air fluctuates in the tank. So if I'm pressing on this and I see no big bubbles forming, then that means it's airtight. If it was loose and I pushed down on the tank with that soapy barrier around it, it would have made a bubble. It would have blew a bubble up because the air coming out of the tank would have blew a bubble. So this is good. So we got that good. This is good. Now we're moving on to back here. This is actually what my culprit was. Right here, this is where my gauge gets the fuel readings from. So underneath this plate is a gasket. What I did was I took soapy water and sprayed all around the gasket, started pressing on it, and I started to see bubbles. Now you can see no bubbles. I'm pressing on it now. So what I did was I took the gasket off, cleaned all the dirt and grime and whatever off of it. I sprayed degreaser all in this and, and wiped it out and tightened down this gasket and no more air bubbles. Then also you have the fitting in here. Um, I took this fitting off and put thread sealer on it. Um, the fitting unscrews from the tank, you pull it out, and I'll put pictures in the video of me putting thread sealer on it. No bubbles here and no bubbles there. This is as tight as it could get. This is done. Now we move on to the back. These fuel lines go here, all the way back here. I had a uh, oily water separator on here. So I thought the oily water separator was the issue, but it's not. So I put a fuel filter on here, an inline filter on here. It looks dumb, it looks stupid, but my boat runs, so I'm not really that ashamed of it, but these are as tight as possible. And then while I was running, I went out to Walmart and picked up some clear tubing. There's a kit at Walmart and it's like a fuel siphoning pump kit. And it'll give you these clear tubes. You don't have to go out and pay a bunch of money for tubes. But um, yeah, this will tell you if you have um, bubbles in your line. It's normal to have a bubble or two, but if it's consistently tiny little bubbles, consistent, then it's 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 a problem um also a uh hidden tip and trick for yamahas is this fuel filter right here sometimes the vibrations from the motor and the jack plate will shake this loose and if there's even a hairpin leak it will uh mess your motor up so always make sure that these are super tight and that's about it that's how you diagnose your fuel system so just to walk you through it again you have one tank, okay? There's only so many connections to it. 
So the problem has to be somewhere, unless you have a hole in your tank or something wrong internally with your motor. But you're gonna start where you put it in. Make sure your vent isn't clogged. Spray soapy water here. Spray soapy water there. And then I have an oily uh, water separator or fuel water separator, sorry. And make sure that's tight. Make sure that's tight. Your bulb's good. And then all the way back to your motor. I sealed all the air between my motor and the gas tank and now she runs. So if you need any more tips and tricks, just let me know. Feel free to comment. I'm happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.